All right, today we're gonna do a little seasonal maintenance on the engine here. This is stuff you would typically do at the start or end of every season. So there's three main things that you should worry about. The impeller. This is the little rubber wheel that pumps seawater to cool the engine. Fuel filters. Usually you'll have two filters, one mounted on the engine and the other mounted on the boot, not too far from the engine. Last but not least, an oil change. I'm sure you all know how important oil is to an engine. So first we're gonna pull the impeller here. I've actually already pulled this fuel filter off so I could have one ordered because it's a special type of filter not a whole lot of people carry. So we're going to go ahead and change the impeller here. I've got a new one already. Oh, that's not good. Got two blades missing. We're gonna have to go looking for them. Now here's an easy way to get your impeller out. Just take two flathead screwdrivers like this and just get a good angle in here. Stick them in there like that and just pry and it comes right out. The shaft on the pump has a notch you have to line up to put the impeller in. It doesn't matter which way the fins are bent over when you put them in, they will spin around the right way when you start the engine. Sometimes when you replace these impellers, they have trouble drawing the water back up, so you want to make sure you lubricate them so you don't burn it up before you get a chance to even use it. Mine came with a little packet of lubricant that I used. If yours doesn't come with any lubricant, I recommend using Super Lube. Your local marine supply store will most likely carry it. All that's left to do is install the new gasket and cover plate. You want to make sure the mating surfaces are nice and clean and free of any old gasket materials to prevent leaks. Change out my primary fuel filter. So that is all the way back here. That's that guy right there. Now, what I like to do for these, let me get more light. Now you see how it's got that bowl on the bottom? That's the uh, water separating part. What it has underneath of it, that black plug, that's a drain. So you can drain the fuel out so that way it doesn't spill everywhere when you try and spin the filter off. So I'm going to stick a bucket under there and drain it down real quick. Alright, now with our bucket in place, we just got to untwist this. And it's draining. Just make sure your uh, shutoff valve is turned off because sometimes it likes to siphon fuel out of your tank. And as you can see, that's now drained. So we can go ahead and close this back up. If I'm going the right way. Close that back up. All right, it was a little bit difficult removing this filter and trying to film at the same time, so I just didn't. But you wanna make sure this ring is gonna be on the top of the filter where it screws into the housing that's mounted to the boot. You wanna make sure this ring comes off with it. Sometimes it gets stuck to the housing and then some people will thread a new filter on and they'll have two of these O-rings in there and it'll leak. So make sure you get that out. 
And there's also this little o-ring in this bowl here that your new filter should come with that's also should probably change that out too I didn't film myself replacing this filter, but I mentioned it earlier in the video. Most engines have an engine mounted filter that will also need replacing. So I've got my fancy electric uh, oil sucker here. Just gotta clip these onto my battery and stick the tube in the dipstick. I pulled the dipstick out already. This tube goes into the dipstick. Make sure it's as all the way down as it'll go. And then all we gotta do is come over here and hook this up. And there it goes. While that's draining, I'm going to pull this filter off. Now what I like to do, is I like to stab a hole in the back of it, so it drains out. And it'll just go right into the bucket instead of flowing all down in here. And then you gotta put another hole in the top so it can vent. Now you got a nice steady stream of oil draining your filter. Once the oil is drained and the filter is off, you can spin a new filter on and fill it with fresh oil. I also topped off my antifreeze. And I like to do a general check over the engine just to make sure everything else is fine with it. And the last thing to do is to start it up and make sure it runs. Once you start it up, Check to make sure your exhaust is shooting water like it should. If it's not, you may have to throttle it up real quick to help prime it. This is why it's a good idea to lubricate the impeller. That's it for this video. I hope it helps, and I hope you join me in the next one.